Hey Oz Nation and welcome to this next video of uh, me. I am actually just exploring Ashmont right now basically. Went to the park in the last video, it was kind of fun. But now I am actually exploring something that actually looks like was been put some money into. Like look at this. Isn't this crazy guys? Like do you remember this? This Look at where I am, this is the new school. Right? And Crazy. They made like a whole camping area, guys. Like this is insane. Look at this. Painted and all. Look at all these rocks. Like what is this? What is this? I feel like I'm entering like ancient caveman times. Uh, ooh, ooh. What? Like, it's weird, like, what is... Wow. What is this? It's like a worship area of some sort, you know? It's kind of crazy. Here comes some wind, so... Look at that. They're planting trees and stuff. Yeah, here's that little worship area from afar. Hey, look at that, isn't that weird? It's like, let's do some rituals here, students. We have to put in some money so our students can do some witch rituals, you know, like to summon some demons. Yeah, it would be great. Let's put in some money into that. Yeah, so now I guess they have a cabin. Which, oops. What the f This stump? This, you guys, look at that. That needs to get being get rid of. Maintenance, maintenance, come on. Look at all the money you're spending in this big ass stump. Look at the size of this stump. Like, look. This is what I tripped over. This is insane. Like, hand to ground, boom, boom. Look, look at that. This is dangerous. Maintenance, deal with it. Because, oh my gosh. Like, look, this is the, this is the middle of the trail. I wanted to get a better shot, because look. Right? Oh, to this way. To that cool way, right? Look, this is the path here. With that damn step there. All the way to the ancient sacrificial ritual area that they do witch seances and spells and stuff there. Crazy! Get rid of the stump! Oh, oh, ah. Ah. Ow, it hurts! You, especially when you have sandals and nothing else but hitting it with your bare foot, it hurts a lot to hit that stump. So get rid of it, maintenance! I just want to admire their little nice little path trails. Like, look at this. Like, they, like and then they're like little like storage area here and everything. And then you, you're coming on to the little spell seance area. Like, come on. This is cool. I like this area. I'm going to do some filming here maybe. Other than that. Wow. Oh! Get rid of the stump. Oh my god! <gasps> yeah, I see where your money went. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just. Look at this. Like, they have nice little barrels of. Caleb. Uh, Cabias. Cabias? Like, for cabinas? Cabias? Cabinas? Now that I'm reading it, eh, I realized it says Kabilas. So, there you go. Like, look at this cabin now, guys. Whoa. And look at all that, we can explore, we can go exploring if you guys want. I could show you where me and my old friends used to chill. It's like called the banana tree. I wonder if that's still there. Cause look at all this new stuff. Like look, they have like, oh my god, firewood, what? Like, look at all this money they spent, guys. Like look, I'm gonna give you some shots. Hey, there's a new cabin in the woods. I'd love to go inside, guys. I'd love to see inside. I mean, but the shitty thing is, the dang door is locked. I wanted to go check it out because it looked awesome. I wish it was just like an in and out thing, nothing in there to steal, just a cool little cabin to go in there and sit, like a gazebo. That would have been cool. That's what I was thinking. 
But no, apparently they have to lock it and be all like, oh, this is ours. We spent so much money, like thousands of dollars. But look, anyway, we got, oh my God, they got all this like firewood here just to like fire it up. And like, look, we can do some more seance and rituals and like fireplace stuff. Like, look, you want to come to the fireplace with me and sing some songs, be chill? Okay, guys, imagine there's a fire. Just imagine there's a fire. Fire going on and people are going around and around and it and Yeah. One video and this thing breaks. One video! And then this pole thingy here is not tightening enough for it to hold the camera anymore. So now I can't use it. This is broken. And I just bought it! What? I need a cameraman and stat, because this piece of shit just broke on me. So that sucks. Jeez. Oh well. Let's go see what, we, what else we could find here. So anyways, to conclude the uh, tour back here, you know, there's uh, some park benches. Uh, look at that. Yeah, back there. Cool. Right by the fire pit in there. Cool. And then, I guess, what they're planning to do here and here I think they want to do like some kind of camp, camping site, because if you look, boom, boom. They basically look like campground sites. Caterpillars. Look at them caterpillars. Epsilon, is that you? Oh wow, how is Wonderland and stuff? Are you doing good? Man, I always wanted to meet you, Epsilon. All right, so with these shots, I just wanted to give you guys a few extras of like the outside of the campgrounds and stuff and like just how cool it looks because wow, they put a lot of work and effort into scenery of it like I don't know I find it really attractive and fascinating and I don't know I just wanted to go give you guys some extra shots so here you go hey guys uh, I'm only holding it in a weird angle because of the wind but hey guys look at this the track and field is gone like the oval circle and stuff it's all gone Hey, I was just coming out to get some extra shots for my video and uh, look at this uh, extra place that I didn't film for the building. Here, let me get a better shot over here. Like, it's pretty freaking awesome. I'm actually pretty impressed by how they made the school. Anyways, I just, I, I gotta review it. Uh, if we look in here, we can see the library. Oh, by the way, we're gonna be uh, exploring all of this once I get into the school one day. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we could just peek. I'm gonna give you guys a little peeky to peek in the, in the window. Give you guys a little peekity peek in the window. Whoa. Over there in a vehicle, just yeah, I just to go and talk to her, having a good time. Um, 
yeah, it's always nice to talk to my grandma. I love her so much. Anyways, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to talk about something that just came up in my mind when I came to this door. Like, look at this, look at this. spots and areas where you hang out. These are going to be those kind of th feelings that I'm, I, I don't know, I can s feel that, that these new generations are going to get those kind of feelings with that school where these little new spots are going to be kind of cool to hang out in. Like this one, it, it feels like I'm inside the school right here, but like it's like, <laughs> it's kind of weird because they have these weird, like the building and stuff, how they, they're the roof, I mean, how it like looks like that and stuff. It's really weird. I know, it feels really roomy in this area and uh, yeah. This must be like, um, this must be like where they, uh, have little kids come in, I bet. It's a little kids area. But I don't know why, but these doors are really nice. And this is actually not too shy of over there. You can actually walk right to it. There's a path. It's like a little food court area, like it's looked really nice. Uh, they, they used to before they had like this really cool area where it's had this tree inside, it's like a big square area inside the Ashmont school in the old one. It was like pretty cool, I miss it. But yeah, you know, we're not gonna be filming that or seeing that ever in these videos, so. Sorry. Whoa, we're just barely hinting at going in there, guys. We're gonna be in there pretty soon. Look at this. You have to be on this platform with shoes. I don't know why, but this this platform brings me, I don't know why, but I'm getting such, I don't know why, but memories are like flooding back to me right now with shit like this. It's, it's like buildings in Edmonton, you guys. I freaking love buildings in Edmonton, and I love Edmonton. Edmonton is somewhere that I, I don't know what, or why or how but it affects me in a weird weird way I don't I never I ne never understood why I just love Edmonton so much this doesn't even look like like look at this area I'll show you where I'm at that's that little fire area like this is Ashmore right and then look the school area no more track and field area and stuff this is an, like a door out from the way the land is shaped, it almost feels like you're in a bowl. I think they have something new there. I think there's a new structure in there or something. I I swear to God, there's something different in there. I don't know what it is, but I mean, I might as well go check it out. Looks like kind of, some kind of like net, maybe. I don't know. But, yeah. I don't know. We're, yeah, over there, there's something different. I didn't even notice that last time I was here. We gotta go explore that way over yonder. And oh my God, mosquitoes are insane. Do you see them? Do you see them like floating across the screen back and forth? Like, holy crud. All right, okay. We're venturing into the area of where, yeah, I was. And it looks like somebody had a fire and stuff. Okay, that's what it was. People were here, guys. Boom, it was used. Dun dun. Oh my gosh. Sorry if it's getting dark, guys. I came a little late to this area because I'm actually editing the video currently. <laughs> And yeah, anyways, there's no structure up or anything. I was just hyping it up. Literally all there was, was this to protect the wood or something. This little tarp I seen, this is new to me. I haven't seen this last time I was here. Here's the cabin again. But yeah, um, I, yeah, I gotta get the shots I came here to get. All right guys, so that's it for the video. Um, that's all the content I actually picked up out there. That's all there is to see on the outside of the school and in that little cool camping area thing. I'm gonna go and check out the trail that was down there too because that maybe changed too. Maybe there's something different down there, I don't know. But it's always seeming to be changing in Ashmont lately. Like, from when I was a kid, drastic differences. So anyways, I'd just like to give a big shout out to one of my good friends. 
His name is um, Jasper Always Steer. You guys check him out. His YouTube channel is on the screen right now. Um, yeah, look at his videos. Look at all these videos, guys. Like, he does so many cool edits, he does so many cool things, and he's about to hit 3,000 subscribers, you guys. That's insane. Help him out. Please go to his channel and subscribe. Maybe share this video around and then maybe, you know, get some traffic over there because I want to get him to 3,000 as much as any number I would get in any of the future because, honestly, me, I'm here to stay. And you guys are going to be seeing a shit ton more of me on this channel. Believe me, I love YouTube. It is my heart and soul. It's everything that I've wanted to do. I inspire to do this. Like, come on. And just as I also know, Jasper always steer, he also really wants to become a really big YouTuber. And I really also want to help him and every single one in my descriptions. Okay, I'm going to flash my description on the screen right now. Look at these people that are in my description, each and every one of these names. Boom! Right here. I am never taking them out of the description, ever, of my videos. They are staying because these are the first groups of uh, YouTuber friends that I've ever had. These people actually mean a lot to me. They um, are the startup of everything for my channel. If it wasn't for them, nothing I've done would have any views, would have any, you know, things coming in. and. You guys do not know how proud I am. You don't. You guys don't know how, how thankful I am, how excited I am, and how generously, honestly generous I am of every single little microscopic thing. Every comment, every like, every view, everything anybody does means the world to me. More than you guys know. So you know what? Here's something to give back to you guys. In this video, I'm going to show each and every one of your channels, alright? Bop! This is Ray Heartless's channel. Go check it out. Bop! This right here is Irisic's channel. He's freaking awesome. Just check his channel out. He's freaking awesome. Star Wars Daily. Check this channel out. Wow, this is freaking awesome. Look at the, like, you guys. Oh my god. Like, I'm going to flash everyone's videos, like, Ray Heartless's videos. Here they are. Iris 6 videos, here they are. Like, holy shit, these YouTubers, man. Like, give them some credit, go check out their channel, subscribe, like, share, and all their shit. And yeah, let's keep the hype going, Oz Nation! Alright, that's the end of this video, so thank you so much for watching. Like for the effort, dislike the video if you didn't like it, I'll understand. And you know what, guys? I would actually like it if you left a damn comment. Just type up in the type box in there, and you know, bam! Type the send button, and then there's a comment popped up. Woo! Come on, do it! Comment, comment, comment a freaking comment, please. People watching the video, just comment, say, cool video, awesome, anything. I'll reply to it, just like, just like, comment. It would be cool to see freaking a bunch of comments. Imagine that. Alright, and finally, share this video to your friends and fam, because that would be legit amazing. You guys would be, like, the best people on earth, really, like, really. It's just, you guys will have, like, God mentality after you share the video and stuff. It'll be, like, powers will start, like, surging through you. you like, oh my god, I'm so glad I shared the video. Yes! Subscribe if you're new and thanks for watching because this is the end. All right, I never know how to end a video, so yeah. Again, go check out Jasper Always Steer. Get him to 3,000 subs. All right, guys. See you later.